Here I have with me Ben Franson, the CEO of Expression Biotech. Welcome. Thank you, Natasha. Please uh, go on and tell us a little bit about Expression Biotech. What do you do? Sure. Uh, we are a biotech company listed on NASDAQ First North Growth Market that develop vaccines. We have our own pipeline of vaccine projects against infectious diseases and oncology. And we have a platform which develops proteins mainly for vaccine purposes. So we also have a service business involving that. And you're based in Denmark, but you are... Exactly. Listed in listed NASDAQ First North in Stockholm uh, through our holding company, Expression Biotech Holding, RB, which 100% uh, owns the subsidiary Expression Biotechnologies, APS. And all our operations take place in uh, Denmark. So tell me about your market and competition. I think it's important to, to highlight the breast cancer vaccine asset that we develop. And we've just filed a CGA, a clinical trial application, to start the first clinical trial. Here we're looking into a $30 billion market, which is expected to grow by 7% over the next five years. Huge market. So we come with a very competitive vaccine approach to treating uh, HER2 breast cancer. So what is the difference between you and already existing treatments? Uh, main existing treatments, standard of care, are monoclonal antibodies, for example. Uh, they're well known like Herceptin or Pajeta. Uh, we come with a vaccine approach, which uh, we believe is very uh, efficacious, safe, and pro potentially also durable. So it, pro it protects or gives a long-term uh, effect. And we've actually demonstrated that the platform in a clinical phase three trial in a COVID-19 vaccine using exactly the same platform. Wow, that's uh, interesting and mm -hmm. uh, sounds amazing. Uh, so what is the current status? I just briefly alluded to that we have just filed a clinical trial application. So we're in a, in a waiting mode right now as we speak. Uh, this has been filed with the authorities in Austria where we're going to make the first clinical trial. And all of this is patented, right? This is in patients, yes. In a way, it's a phase 1B uh, trial because it no, is... No, I mean, you have a patent. Yes, of, yes, of course. sorry. It is patented, for sure. This is all a unique technology plat uh, platform that is patented, correct. Uh, and yes, we are awaiting uh, feedback from the authorities to start the first clinical trial, where we expect it to, to start in the first quarter of 25. And do you already have plans for scaling up <clears throat> when everything is in place? Well, we have just completed a financing round here uh, over summer. Uh, and we also got some financing earlier through the COVID-19 vaccine project. So that enables us to carry on with the phase one trial once we start on that. So what should the investors expect from you in the coming years? I think they will be interested in the milestones we uh, bring forward from the breast cancer vaccine asset. Um, I should also highlight <laughs> in our pipeline, we also have malaria projects, which are all being conducted by University of Oxford and their clinical phase one and two. So we also have some milestones coming there and some earlier research projects that we do where we expect preclinical proof of concept also in, in the near future. And you will uh, tell us more during your talk at 11 o'clock today and uh, people can watch it online later. Right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.